And now, final conclusions. Do I recommend that system? Well, that depends. There are some pros and cons. Eh, but from my point of view, this is a good way to start on Atari uh, systems. But if you're an enthusiast, I'd recommend picking up a 2600. Here are some pros. The pros are, this has a lot of games to choose from, both single and multiplayer. Another pro is, this doesn't take up a lot of space. And last pro is, um, the, uh, it takes AV cables and not an RF adapter. So if you were to get an actual Atari 2600, you will need to hook it up through a VCR on your modern TV. And also, you'll also need to get your own games. The cons in this system, well, if there are any. Actually, I forgot one more pro. The controllers are a lot like an actual Atari controller. Also, the infrared on this is actually better than the ones on the Sega Genesis system, which is kind of funny. Although, if you actually are... Although it does cut out a bit, but it's not as bad as the uh, Sega Genesis because a lot of the Atari 2600 games um, didn't really have much action and uh, control like a Sega Genesis would. But I'm not trying to install Atari systems because I think Atari's awesome in their own way. But other than that, there's also different variations of the system. So if you were to have multiples of these, you would have a lot of games on them. But other than that, the cons are, well, number one, you can't put an actual Atari cartridge in it. It would have been nice if someone were to modify it and get it to work. But what can you do? Another con is, um, well, is uh, if you want different games and stuff, or some of the games I need to mention, they were meant with the uh, paddle controllers where you turn a knob. Like when I tried playing Breakout, it's easier using a paddle controller than a joystick because I was having trouble uh, steering the uh, little platform. But what can you expect? Those are the only cons about the system. So, would I recommend picking one up? That's for you to decide. So, that's my video. Thanks for watching. This is RikaRox1001 signing off.